le sacaba la pasta por lo menos con el cepillo. ¿sí? Um, y esto es voluntad que se usa para el remedio de los dientes. Yeah. Porque hay comida y cosas en remedio de los dientes. ¿sí? Um, in general, in terms of the patients that I got to see today, there were a, you know, a handful of patients that had acute things like a ear infection, a skin infection. I actually saw three kids with asthma that were actively wheezing. They were not in distress, but they were definitely wheezing and needed treatment and you know, the parents seemed to not have an idea about their condition. Um, most of the other kids were doing okay with probably just you know sort of chronic malnutrition some because of parasitic infection some who you understand um, from what I could tell that it's not safe to drink well water and that they have to boil it but you know they were still they were still doing it so um, there's there's some of that and you know more typically to what we see in the US it's really like tailoring the diet to what the kid wants and not really um, understanding you know what what good nutrition is and what things that kids should be eating and then also just trying to um, I think you know what to do with a child who's a picky eater um, who doesn't want to eat veggies who doesn't want to eat beans for instance so you know I think there's just a lot of basic education that is needed um, but plus also you know some like parent instruction or parent classes just about how to deal with a um, hyperactive kid who couldn't stop playing with my medical stuff. Um, you know, so again, just, you know, um, get the instruction, um, get them to know what parents expect from them and that they don't have to do everything that the child does. So, um, you know, it's a lot of education.